Hello and welcome to the channel, I'm Omnus and today I will review the <coughs> third studio album by the pop punk band Paramore. Um, yeah, I actually enjoyed their last album, uh, Riot, which was pretty good. Uh, and I was looking forward for this record because, you know, it has some really, you know, important songs in there or important, some essential listening by the band or, you know, chanting, <laughs> essential and, and important. So we have 11 tracks on there, uh, 12 if you want to count the international edition or the deluxe edition or something, bonus I guess. There are some new tracks on there but these are the, this is the standard edition, so there we go. First track is Careful, uh, yeah the track just kind of starts out carefully, you know, it uh, says what it intends to do. Uh, very, you know, safe but very, you know, good opening track, you know, Paramore is not really taking any risks, so the, the track the title is uh, accurate. Uh, then we get Ignorant, which is a pretty nice song by the band. Uh, it sounds like they kind of try to rehash Riot, Riot on here, but it sounds you know better. It sounds more polished. It sounds poppier. So uh, you know it only sounds better than the record in my opinion. So there we go. And then we get Playing God, which is more of a mellow track. Uh, this is more kind of like an ode to their uh, religion because I believe Paramore is a Christian band. And yeah, they're pretty much the best Christian band from what I've known, from you know what I know uh, at least. Uh, this is a very mellow track. I actually really enjoy it. It's three minutes long, so it's kind of like uh, more of a more of a hymn than action, than an actual track, but still very nice to listen to. And then we get "Brick by Boring Brick," which was a very um, major song by the band. It's four minutes long. It's really epic. I believe there's a really cool music video for this song. Uh, yeah, this track is just really enjoyable overall, you know, it's kind of sounds like Misery Business in a way, which is, you know, upped and just more uh, adventurous and just more diverse. It just sounds like a better version of that, like, you know, a sequel or something, uh, but, you know, better. A very great song, pretty much one of the best songs of the album and uh, an essential track by Paramore to listen to. And uh, then we got Turn It Off, which is kind of like a disappointing song, you know, because it's pretty much in between the best two songs of the album. Uh, it's not bad by any means, but it just has, you know, it, it's it's just kind of unfortunate that this song is in the middle of two of the best songs of the album. So, yeah, uh, this uh, I kind of overlooked this song, but it's still solid, I guess, but yeah, it's not the songs in the, between them, in between them. Uh, and then we get the only exception, which is just... Hell yes, you know, yeah. This this is pretty much the song that uh, that's made me fall in love with the band. You know, uh, Haley Williams and just the rest. You know, her voice is just fantastic. Wh whoever plays the acoustic guitar on the song, you know, it's very simple, but it just works, mate. Um, this is a beautiful song. Um, it's four and a half minutes long, so it's perfect length too. Um, Wow, it's actually it's actually the longest song of the album. You know, for a acoustic poppy track, you don't expect it to be the longest track, but it actually is. So, yeah, it's for easily my favorite song of the album. Uh, it's the best Paramore song I've ever heard in my life. It's just fantastic, mate. It's just great. It's soft rock, folk rock. Uh, the emotion on this track, the guitars, Haley Williams' voice on this track is just amazing. Uh, the first time when I heard it, I completely fell in love with the song the first time, and uh, you know, it's, it still sounds amazing, so great man. E easily the best thing I've ever heard about this band, easily. Then we get Feeling Sorry, and this is a very disappointing follow up song. It's three minutes long, and you know, yeah, I, I kind of feel sorry, you know, for, to you to follow up, the only exception because, you know, uh, where do you go? Uh, you know, buy that song. Fuck no. Where, where do you go when you made that song, you know? And this is pretty much the weakest song of the album too. It's just kind of forgettable. It's just kind of bland, honestly. So I didn't really feel a lot with this track. It's still solid, but you know. To follow up the only exception. No. I never get looking up and this is definitely, you know, these titles are pretty accurate because it is looking up by this point. Uh, yeah, it is just getting better uh, eventually. Uh, yeah, I would say that the record gets better again, you know, it's just kind of typical Paramore, but um, it is getting better. And that's what I like about the album, that, you know, although 
the first side is just fantastic and the second side is a bit less but you know you also had it with riot but it's still a very solid album by, or a very solid solid record by the band you know i will go into the album, album a bit later so good track it's better than feeling sorry but you know it's not the first side so there we go uh yeah but the, you know the record just kind of started out like amazing then it kind of like you know went below average again when turn it off again and then it went like heavenly with the only exception and then average again with feeling sorry and it doesn't really you know the record is kind of recovering from that you know it is kind of going like looking up and where the times overlap you know it's getting better so this record is or this song is very mellow it's very like nostalgic to listen to it kind of reminds me of the only exception uh yeah the track is just overall very like nostalgic and very melodic in a way so i really enjoyed it and then we get Misguided Ghost and this, you know, speaking of mellow tracks, this is like a very mellow track. I really enjoyed this track because it was just very, uh, just very mellow, very slow, very, you know, you know ghostly. Misguided Ghost, that is a great title, by the way. Yeah, pretty much my favorite title song of the album, Misguided Ghost. It just sounds cool. Yeah, it's overall a good track. It's actually the shortest track of the album, three minutes long. Uh, but it's still really great. I really love the the haunting, the mellow vibe of this track, and just the overall atmosphere of the track is awesome. So yeah, I loved it. Although if I did have a criticism for it, I wished it was the final song of the album because it is a very appropriate close to the track. But I mean, uh, but we get all I wanted, which is a very you know like closing appropriate kind of closure song. Uh, yeah, the band is basically saying, you know, I got all I wanted and, you know, basically goes into a more feeling sore looking up kind of vibe, you know, pretty typical Paramore. So this is an overall very appropriate closing, you know, it has some mellow moments, it has some melodic moments like uh, The Only Exception, it has some he uh, heavy moments like Brick by Boring Brick. It has some uh, re religion in there, you know, playing God. So it is a little bit of everything. So this track, you know, just uh, summarized the sum is summarizing the album pretty accurately, and is an overall very fitting closing track. Although I did prefer Misguided Ghost as a closing track, but what you know, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. So it's still a good closing track. So I'm, I'm not complaining. Overall, this album is better than um, than Riot because it is more melodic. It has you know more good songs on it. It's a bit more consistent, I think. Uh, it's more diverse, I wouldn't say, say that already. And you know, some of the best pair of songs are on this album. You know, but Riot also had that, but Riot basically had like the best song on there, and that's kind of it. Whereas this album is like consistently great. So this is better. Um, I still think that the second side is a bit weak ish. It's not, you know. It's still good though, it's still very good, but it's just not the first side. The first side is near flawless in a way, and the second side is, you know, it's still good, but it's not the first side. So I'm gonna give this an 8.5. Uh, I'm, you know, very positive with Paramore. Uh, you know, I said that I like Paramore, and, you know, I've given them two 8s so far. Well, this is an 8.5, but it's, you know, still to uh, be great, I suppose. B plus and B. Minus, I suppose. So um, I'm very happy with Paramore. They are a good band. I like them. Um, yeah. So there we go. Uh, Haley Williams, of course, very talented, very talented girl. And uh, the two remaining members of the band so far, you know, up until the self-titled album. Uh, I have no idea why you know members uh, you know went out of the band. I have no idea what had happened, but. You know, Haley Woods is still in the band, those other two blokes are still in the band, so I'm happy for them. I'm happy that they're still a team because they make good, good music in my opinion. So there we go, uh, pretty much the only popping band, band to like, I started off Green Day of course. So thank you for watching this video, uh, let me know what you think about the album in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Do all those good uh, stuff, you know, like and subscribe if I didn't say it already. Uh, yeah, do that and I'll see you in the next video, peace.